Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at Paldea Evolved. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in a glorious position where we know a lot about Paldea Evolved, because basically we know that Paldea Evolved is going to be a mashup of three Japanese sets, and that is the double set Snow Hazard and Clay Burst, and the A set, mini set, call it what you will, triple beat. We know that as a general rule, and there will be exceptions, but as a general rule, you mash those two sets together and you find yourself with Paldea Evolved. But then we need to ask the question of, well, hang on a second, there's weird things going on like Pikachu EX, which is confirmed for the set, which is a bit weird because it doesn't seem to fit. And we've actually got a list of a bunch of categories which have already been confirmed for the set and we can start putting an awful lot together so let's go and do that shall we so starting off then over there was a press release where they told us various things including there were going to be 15 pokemon ex and free terra pokemon ex however they also just full-on named the terra exes as slowking foratress and Dedenne. That, that's not me making that up. Literally in the press release, they just flat out named those three Terra EXs. Now, they are the ones we would be expecting. They are the ones of Snow Hazard, Clay Burst, and Triple Beat. So there aren't any massive surprises here, but it's still kind of cool to have the actual confirmation that those are the three that we are going to be getting. Now, as a side note, in terms of playability, Dedenne is honestly kind of terrible, if I'm honest with you. And Slow King, 2 Energy, 130, search for any two cards. It, it's fine, but slightly underwhelming. But Terra Foratress could be an absolute star of the set. That's one with the ability that lets you KO it. Yes, that means you give up two prizes. But then you get to accelerate five Grass Energy from your deck to your Pokemon. This is going to have some great, great decks made around it. Especially bearing in mind that this will also be the set that brings us Iono. Which, of course, is an amazing comeback card where both you and your opponent shuffle your hand, put it on the bottom of your deck, and draw cards equal to your remaining prizes. So, giving up prizes and then dropping something like an Iono could be a very good thing. So, the Terra EXs are generally pretty good, and we're happy. The EXs are where things get a little bit weird. Because we're expecting 15 non-Terra EXs. That is confirmed, that is officially announced. And we know that there are 15 between Triple Beat, Snow Hazard, and Clay Burst. So usually we would go, well, all right then. You take the five from each of those three sets, whack them in, boom, there's the 15 non-Terra EXs. But it's not that simple. Because, of course, we have had official confirmation, it's in the press release, that we are getting Pikachu EX. That is confirmed. That is 100% happening. But Pikachu EX isn't from any of the three sets I've mentioned. Pikachu EX is from its own EX deck over in Japan. Now, this is on the face of it quite simple. You take one of the EXs out of the set. And then you put Pikachu EX in instead. That makes perfect sense. We've seen this happen before. Uh, if anyone's wondering, the rumor is Annihilate, but that is currently unconfirmed. Here's the thing, though. We have actual confirmation, again, this has been officially announced, that there will be 18 ultra-rare Pokemon EX. That will be the 15 EX and the 3 Terror EX. All is full art. Ultra-rare here is referring to full art. And this is interesting, of course, because we have 18 EXs in the set. If each of them get a full art, then that gives us 18 full arts. Except we know one of the 18 is the set is Pikachu, and that doesn't have a full art. But having said that, we've seen this before. There's like 15 different examples I could give you. I'm giving you one. I'm going to give you the example of Verizon. Because there was a Verizon V-Box, which had the regular Verizon. And you'll notice that if you go to the relevant set, in this case, I am talking, of course, about Astral Radiance, you will find Full Art Verizon. You will not find regular Verizon. So essentially, what is happening here is exactly what happened with Verizon, which is to say, 
one of the EXs that we would expect to be in the set is being taken out. Pikachu is being put in in its place. But the full art of that Pokemon is being left in the set. That is essentially confirmed at this stage. The only possible conclusion where we've got 18 EXs and 18 full arts, where one of the EXs we know doesn't have a full art, is that essentially they've taken out one of the regulars to make space for Pikachu, but they've left the full art in. And I could give you a bunch more examples. Verizon is just one of them. They've done it before. They will almost certainly do it again. So again, this makes perfect sense. So with that born in mind, the other EXs we are expecting are from Triple Beat, the combination or the trio of starter Pokemon, Meow Skarada, Skeleturge, and Quagwavell. Meow Skarada is the star of that one. It's got that ability that drops damage counters. We've then got Lycanroc and Clodzire. I am personally extremely excited about Clodzire. Automatic poison, fun times, and you know by now Clodzire is my boy. I am very, very excited about Clodzire EX. Over in Snow Hazard, we've got Wo Chen. Chen Pao, that is looking to be a very good deck. Ability that searches out water energy when it's active. Attack that can do near limitless damage if you're discarding water energy. It's pretty great. Annihilate, which like we've said, is the one we are expecting to be cut, though that is not confirmed. Copperaja, now this is the one that's got a very large amount of hit points. And an ability that reduces damage that is done to it. And has got an attack that for free energy does very good damage. If we get, if we ever end up with really good metal type energy acceleration, this is going to be awesome. Like really genuinely awesome. And then Squawkabilly, which is brilliant. Squawkabilly is really good. It's got an ability that can only be used on your first turn of the game, but it lets you discard your hand and draw six cards. Squawkabilly is genuinely great and is going to see a whole bunch of play. And then from Clayburst, we've got Chi Yu, we've got Bellabolt, we've got Tinkerton, we've got Ting Lu. That's the one that if it's active, any of your opponent's Pokemon other than the X's with damage counters on have no abilities, which is very cool. And then we've got Noivern. Yay! So they are the EXs that are going to be in the set. We know Pikachu's coming in. We know that one of them is being removed. Not the first partner Pokemon or the Treasures of Ruin, the legendaries, because they're on the boost pack artwork. But any of the others are up for grabs. And we think it's going to be Annihilate that gets taken out. Okay. That makes perfect sense. We are also told that there are going to be 15 special illustration rare Pokemon and supporter cards. And this one's really easy because there are exactly 15 over the three sets. So from Triple Beat, we are getting the special illustration rares of the first partner Pokemon. Meowskarada, Skeledurge, and Quaquavel. And then we're getting supporter cards. We are getting Bosses Orders Getsis and Dendra. Now for what it's worth, in Triple Beat, Dendra was a very, very expensive card. But it is worth pointing out that with th there's another card in this set that's going to be better. And do bear in mind, yes, I know some of these Japanese Special Illustration Rare supporters get up to absolutely ridiculous levels. We all know that. However, I feel very, very, very confident that is not going to be the case here. Dendra is not going to be anywhere near as expensive. Now, over in Snow Hazard, there are, again, five free Pokemon 2 supporters. And that means that you are going to be getting your special illustration rares of Wo Chen, Chen Pao, and Squawkabilly. And Squawkabilly, this is the first of Melikart artwork since Crown Zenith. I am hyped about this one. This is one of my real chase cards for the set. And then in terms of supporters, we've got Grusha and Giacomo. And Grusha's way better artwork than Iono, just to be clear. But then we get over to Clayburst, and again, we've got ourselves three Pokemon here. That featuring Chi Yu, Tinkerton, and Ting Lu. Ting Lu, my favourite of them, but shout out to the Akira Egawa artwork on Chi Yu. And then in terms of supporter cards, we've got Saguaro and Iono. And Iono's going to be the big card in the set. 
It is a redonkulous card over in Japan, but it is going to be the big set over here. Yes, I know Dendro was a pretty big deal when it released over in Japan, but make no mistake about it, Paldea Revolved Iono is going to be one of the really big chase cards. So I suppose that kind of makes perfect sense. For what it's worth, they're also telling us there are going to be 36 illustration rares there are 12 in each set so just assume they're all coming over i don't want to make this video 10 times as long by going through all of them here we'll go through them in another video but just know that that is also going to be the case the other thing which we are told is that there are going to be nine gold cards and once again this works out absolutely perfectly honestly ladies and gentlemen absolutely perfectly now it does say it will include pokemon ex trainer and energy cards and that's what we get now over in triple beats they actually ruined things a little they just gave us gold versions of meowskarada skeledurge and quackwavel usually it's one pokemon one trainer one energy but over in triple beat because they were introducing the fully evolved first partner pokemon they went and ruined it a little bit can't win them all now, over in Snow Hazard, they gave us Chen Pao as the Pokemon. Super Rod, yes, it is an old card. Yes, it's being reprinted as the trainer. And Water Energy as the Water, which matches Chen Pao perfectly. And then over in Clay Burst, we've got Ting Lu as the Pokemon. Superior Energy Retrieval, which is another reprint as the trainer card. And Grass Energy as the Energy card. As a fun little side note, no, the Grass Energy doesn't really fit. Normally, I suppose it's in here for Fortress. But really, it should have been Fighting. But we already had Fighting in Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet in Japan, to be specific. So they had to go for a different one. They've gone for Grass, presumably because of Fortress. But it's not quite the same. So there's all your Special Illustration Rares confirmed. All your EX is confirmed, except for one which we're pretty sure, but not 100%. And all of your gold cards confirmed. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten to the point where we know a lot about this at this stage. And also, we know that whichever Pokemon is being cut, the full art is still remaining in the set. So there we go. That's what you need to know, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's over to you guys. I want to know what you think about all of this. I want to know anything you want to tell me. I want to know what your predictions are in the comment section. Got us! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. Oh, and you can get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Evan Parker, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.